I'm on my way down to Scottsdale, Arizona. There is a 30 second window that I get where I pass between <laughs> Scottsdale and Idaho or Idaho and Scottsdale and that window includes possibly a side diversion at the Grand Canyon. Um, so today, today um, ish, it's not quite midnight yet. Um, I'm headed to the North Rim. I'm just gonna uh, do the North Kaibab Trail. Uh, it's gonna be a little hot, um, hotter than I've ever done it before. Um, I'm not probably gonna try rim to rim to rim. Um, I'll just do down to the river and back. Um, still 32 miles, which is good training for my race coming up. So hopefully we, uh, we, <laughs> me, myself, and I, uh, hopefully I don't collapse tomorrow, but don't do anything damaging to my legs, which I don't think I will. But uh, I think it's going to be a good run. Um, I'll try and push as hard as I can on the way back up. Um, most of the times, I whatever. No, I've never, I've never like run up the the rim, um, up run, run up from the river to the rim. Uh, I don't know very many humans that do that. <laughs> anyway, um, just thought I'd make a video out of it, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So hopefully, it's not a crappy video. <laughs> hours of sleep is more like a few minutes of sleep but that's okay it never works out I'm, uh, I'm off to go do the trail so such an idiot but a few hours of sleep a few minutes of sleep and I forgot my freaking watch at the car and I'm already like half a mile down not even half a mile but it feels too far down to turn around and go get my stupid watch so I'll just be checking my phone for the time. I know the distances, there's signs. Like I said, this is a super highway. So I'm just gonna go for it without a watch. <laughs> it's okay. The Coconuto Overlook is just always amazing, but it's like within 100 yards of the trail. So by the way, I got a 615 start, I think, ish, based on my phone. So anyway. Across the valley, I can kind of see that I've entered the Supai, but here on the Kaibab, it doesn't quite show up. I'm still walking past uh, Coconino Sandstone Blocks, um, but I'm, uh, I'm essentially at the Supai layer, so that's fun. And it's only been 10 minutes, so going down is the easy part. That's what Harvey Bouchard said about the canyon is like mountaineering, except the exit the way back to your you know home is the climbing the part when you're the most exhausted so anyway I'm sure I'll probably stop making this video when I'm crying like a baby wishing I hadn't done this but anyway right now I feel great I feel like I could just go to the river at a pretty quick clip and uh, we'll see there's a part of me that's starting to become like Edward Abbey that's saying you know what close them off <laughs> Only let the adventurers go in there. Don't don't make the uh, you know. And we could probably have some allowances for people with wheelchairs and disabilities and things. We could totally make allowances for that. But you know this this huge traffic and the huge profiteering, the Zantera and all these. Well, I don't know if there's any others. I'm pretty sure they have a big monopoly in most parks. But I don't even know how they say their name. Zantera, Zatera. I think that's I think that's sickening. It makes me just super angry. I'm very conservative, but uh, I don't believe in the cronyism profiteering that that is. Super tunnel, what up? This trail, this part of the trail is like a nice version of Nankaweep where it's like just traversing along the uh, the, uh, the, the supai layers. 
there's a big those big blocks of sandstone behind me those are supai um, and then they're interspersed with this mudstone or shale and uh, um, I don't know how many are shale but I know I know one is because springs come out at the supai layer over in Anquik at least so and they do also in other places but uh, but anyway the point is that um, it's fun and if you want to experience something else uh, Nanquip's even better. I, I want to do one of these for the Nanquip one day, but <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'll ever do that. But one day, one day, if I finish the, the Bigfoot and succeed, then, <laughs> then I'll do it. entered a new a new biome too I just thought I'd share I love these trees I just realized that uh, my phone's at 35% battery so ah, it sucks I didn't charge it before I left and I tried to charge a little bit on my drive down but I totally forgot um, so anyway I might turn this off for a while and then see how we're doing on the way back up I'll turn it back on when I'm at the river but uh, so anyway wish me luck all right so I said I wouldn't uh, turn this back on until the river but I am at Manzanita which is great because it's in the shade for a second and <clears throat> really crank along pretty quick Anyway, uh, it's good times. Um, I am going to uh, probably turn this back on right to get to Ribbon Falls or something. But I'm doing all right. Um, six miles in an hour and a half. It's fine. I was uh, when I turned this off, <laughs> I went a lot faster. Um, so I'm going to do that again. Get to Ribbon Falls, hopefully a little bit quicker than four miles an hour. But um, yeah, see you then. Oh yeah, one more thing. From here on down, I get to enjoy this creek. And the sounds of the creek in the canyon are amazing. So, that's another reason to come here. Anybody who's hiked the uh, Grand Canyon before knows uh, what the Tonto Trail is. And I'm just, if I don't know if you can see, I'm not gonna point to it. But anyway, um, I'm headed down, you know? And if you look across the canyon, you can see the Tonto Trail, like the level of the Tonto Bench. And I'm headed down to it right now. So even though, like, if you look in the background, these these are the Tapeats Cliffs. This is Tapeats Sandstone. And literally, I'm gonna approach where the uh, Vishnu Schist comes in, and I start running through the Vishnu Schist. But it's so deceptive because I got so much elevation to drop. Everybody who knows, like I said, everybody who knows the Tonto knows that uh, when you get to the edge and you look over, you're like, holy crap! There's still another Grand Canyon beneath me, you know. So anyway. It's, uh, even though this trail is super gentle and nice and fun, it's big, right? So you don't take it for granted. And yes, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Ribbon Falls is coming up. That's why I turned it back on, but I'm uh, past Cottonwood Campground, just headed down in. I just saw that viewpoint and thought, oh, that's good. A good point to note because this trail is, even though it's beautiful and really almost paved in its high quality, it's uh as i go through kind of a sketchy part um it's definitely still a big trail to be respected so anyway yeah <clears throat> so this is uh the uh ribbon falls trail super fun 
small offshoot of the Deer Creek Spring was dry not very long ago and it, well it's July now it was May and it shouldn't have been dry in May but I guess my Grand Canyon expertise is not old enough to have seen it dry in May so it was a first for me and I was kind of wondering maybe this one dries up too but I don't think so let's go see it this is Ribbon Falls but it's got an amazing chunk of travertine there at the bottom that uh, is really a fascinating thing this falls has been here for so long I'm a little bit behind schedule. It's, uh, it's later, but that's because I keep taking videos. I just smashed my sunglasses, so I'm kind of mad, but whatever. Um, I've never, uh, never had a problem without sunglasses, so we'll see. Um, but in my old age, I'm probably going to get cataracts. So. All right, cool. Well, goodbye, Ribbon Falls. I'm in officially in the uh, deep uh, schist layers, the basement layers of the Grand Canyon. Um, I'm starting to enter into the narrows part. I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, it's it's not narrow, but I mean it is it is a beautiful part of the trail. So anyway, oh, don't worry. I'm just practicing for the Nanakoi Trail. See how slippery boulder is dying. at Phantom Creek um, kind of wondering if I want to do it before the Sun gets hotter water of bright angel nice and clear mixing with the water from Phantom Creek which is not so clear it's funny so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna go check it out uh, it's hot farther but it's just too hot it's not gonna happen today I'll get to the river go soak my feet and then get the crap out of this canyon so anyway there's no ruins up here but it is sure pretty yeah brace myself for the heat of the climb fun times honestly I was trying to get out earlier I set my alarm for 545 I would have set it for 4.45, 3.45 even, but I had a long drive last night and I really didn't get very much sleep, so I'm, uh, I, I mean, I drove from northeastern Idaho to down here, you know, I left at like 2. Anyway, yeah, 15% battery. Whoop, whoop. So I've made it to the Colorado. This is my turnaround point. I am not climbing up that beast. But uh, this river is so cold. It was really good. I'm eating my ceremonial apple. This is the conquering the downward easy side. <laughs> Celebration. Fun time. That killed me. I'm tired. I do not look forward to that go up. <clears throat> it's warm today. So I am officially leaving the river. It's a sad day. Well, it's got to be done. So, anyway, I uh, think the worst is ahead of me, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be kind of difficult. And I realize I'm probably just making this for myself to inspire myself to do more of these things. I doubt anybody in the world is going to watch this, but um, but it is fun. It is a beautiful trail. We uh, also. Quick note about river runners, they're all so awesome. They uh, they just offered me a beer. I'm like, oh, I don't really drink, but thanks. Um, 
so I said no. Plus, I don't think that'd be a good idea. Even if I did drink, I don't think it's a good idea to drink while you're down here. You want to stay hydrated in the right, the right ways. But I don't think alcohol is good for the system down here. At least not mine. I, I, mine's in such a delicate little system. <laughs> if I eat a sandwich too fast, I cramp up. So Yeah, so I'm headed out of Phantom Ranch. Back up. Back up the rim. Not sure if this is a good idea. Has to be done. So anyway, like 14 miles left. So. so I'm more than halfway done. That's good. It's just not even halfway as hot as it's going to be. I hope it is actually, but anyway, my, you can tell my voice is kind of drying out because I mean, I've been trying to drink a lot, but you can never drink enough in this place. So um, yeah pretty uh pretty hot so cool yeah i really am almost out of batteries <clears throat> and i'm kind of thinking i probably should just turn it off and slog through this heat luckily i've got like these patches of shade still in the uh in the schist um, it's uh lending itself to a nice stop every once in a while but <clears throat> but i think i just need to plug through get to uh cottonwood campground uh, uh, turn it back on again and tell you how miserable I feel. It's pretty hot right now, but I feel fine. I know my voice is going out, but it is what it is. It's hot desert. It takes it right out of you. So, anyway. Hot, and I'm, uh, I'm going to run out of batteries, but I just uh, want to like convey just how blasted hot it is. It's uh, crazy. I keep dunking my keep dunking my what's called my undershirt under into the river and it just still doesn't matter anyway, and my phone is about to say stop I can't record anymore my phone is literally telling me it's too hot to record a video <laughs> it's hilarious